So how do we assemble the upright? Uh, good question. Today I'm giving instructions on how to install the Rogue Monster Light RML390 Full W Rack. Disclaimer, these are what I did in supplementation to the instructions. Follow these at your own risk. Also, you can find these instructions down below in the description. Step 1. Reassure you're following the instructions for the rack and not the stringers. This is because the ones for the stringer are very general. Step 2. Gather all the required tools. If not using a wood wall construction, make sure you get the correct anchors. And here's a list of required tools. There's a blank space just for your imagination and whatever else you need. Step 3. Measure the height of your foundation if necessary. This will determine how high or low your stringer should go, and they can be adjusted in 2 inch increments. If your floor is sloped, measure the foundation on the higher end of the slope. This will help make sure you're not drilling into something and hitting concrete. Step 4. Use your stud finder to find 4 studs to install the rack in your desired area. Make sure there's no obstructions and there's no electrical wiring. Step 5. Assemble the uprights by screwing in the cross members, finger tighten them only, and adjust the cross member height by 2 inch increments as necessary. Tip, buy extra hardware for your stringers if your cross members need to be changed in height according to the instructions. This helps get clearance in the middle of the rack. If a lower pull-up bar height is desired, the pull-up bar can be mounted to the uprights. We're going to move these again to be on the highest hole, right here. Step 6. Mark the pilot holes for the stringer based on steps 3 and 4. Make sure it's level and drill a 1564 diameter pilot hole if using wood lag screws. Step 7. Construct the hinge brackets on the stringers using the hardware. Fully tighten this hardware only. I say to do this next to avoid personal injury when measuring the drill holes.
step 8. Mount the stringers to the wall using the pre-drilled holes. Adjust the stringer as necessary until level. A second person and a ladder would be helpful. Step 9. Dry fit the uprights on the stringer using the hinge screws. Determine how many shims are needed. Do not put the plastic feet on before doing this. Then remove the uprights from the stringer. Step 10, install the shims if needed with the plastic feet. You may need a mallet for this, or you could just use your hand. Step 11, reinstall the uprights, make sure they're fully supported when extended, and make sure they're also level. Fully tighten all the hardware, but don't over tighten the hinge screws. Step 12, install the pull-up bar on the cross members with the red detent pins. You can adjust for it to be lower on the uprights if you'd like. Step 13, install your orange detent pins and enjoy the newly installed rack. Thanks for watching, I hope it was valuable and don't forget to check out my links below.